हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस नेक्स्ट वीडियो फ्रॉम क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम इंटेग्रल इक्वेशंस द क्वेश्चन इज इफ फाइ इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन इज गिवन टू अस देन देर आर आस्किंग व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइ ऑफ लॉग टू आउट ऑफ दीज फोर वैल्यूज व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइ लॉग टू सो फॉर दैट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ फाइ ऑफ एक्स दैट इज वी नीड टू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन राइट सो what is uh, what type of kernel is given to us kxt is given to be 3 plus 6 x minus t minus 4 x minus t whole square so clearly this kxt is a function of x minus t that is wherever is this uh, 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 wherever the variables x and t are appearing they are appearing in this form x minus t and x minus t right so we can say that this is a function of x minus t so this kind of operator we all know it is a convolution type of operator and once you see convolution uh, operator uh, convolution kernel one thing should clearly strike your mind that take its Lap laplace transform and then we can uh, apply the inverse laplace transform to obtain the required solution in that way it's very easy to calculate this phi of x so let us get started so uh, this is our equation phi of x is equal to 1 minus 2 x minus 4 x square plus integration kernel into phi t dt right so now here this term could be written as this where what is this star this star is the convolution operator and by definition of convolution operator the first function could be written by replacing x with x minus t and the second function is re, uh, replaced by uh, is uh, written by replacing this x with t and the uh, integration is performed with respect to t with the limits varying from 0 to x that is the definition of convolution operator right so now we have this form uh, our equation written in this form so we can take laplace transform on both sides of this equation so that it becomes uh, previously our domain was x now we are moving on to the domain of p right so applying the laplace transform we are converting uh, we are moving to p domain so uh, this l represents laplace transform so uh, taking it on both sides laplace transform of phi of x phi of x is unknown which has to be determined so it should be kept as it is right then the laplace transform of this function which is a polynomial plus the laplace transform of this function now the lap, uh, there is a theorem called second shifting property that uh, the laplace transform of two functions which are convolved with each other that is we have a convolution operator in between so the laplace transform is equal to the product of these two uh, the laplace transform of these two functions that means you calculate the laplace transform of this you calculate the laplace transform of this and whatever the result is you multiply them so it's it become so easy in this laplace domain right so here we would have the laplace transform of this polynomial function multiplied by the laplace of phi of x which is unknown so what would be the laplace of uh, this polynomial function the laplace of 1 that is equal to 1 upon p the laplace of uh, x raised to power n plus 1 that would be n factorial n plus 1 factorial right or i should write this as n plus 1 factorial divided by uh p raised to power n plus 2 right so you all know all these formulas if you have forgot what are these you can go back to the lectures on laplace transform the link is given in the description right so here the laplace transform 1 is 1 upon p 2 is taken out minus 2 laplace of x is 1 upon p square and laplace of x square that would be 2 factorial divided by p cube right and here again you do calculate the laplace transform of these polynomial terms in the similar way and laplace of phi of x is kept as it is so we can shift this whole term onto the left hand side so that we can take this laplace of phi of x common we are left with this term 
we can take lcm on both sides and solve it a bit so we obtain these two terms so we are interested in finding this laplace of phi of x what is it so we can shift this whole term to the right hand side so that we have this now this p cube and p cube cancels so we are left with this term so moreover these two are polynomials so uh, by hit and trial uh, by trial method you can check that p is equal to 1 is a root of this equation that means 1 minus 3 minus 6 plus 8 that would give you 0 right so this is a root that means p minus 1 is a factor if p minus 1 is a factor you can calculate uh, the other factor also by dividing p minus 1 uh, this polynomial by p minus 1 right so we see this is the second factor so we can write this as the product of these two factors so this is this so this factor cancels with this so we are left with 1 upon p minus 1 so now in order to calculate what is phi of x we have to again move back from this domain p back to our domain x because the answer is required in this domain only right by applying the laplace inverse so we apply this laplace inverse on both sides so uh, this terms here on the left becomes phi of x only and on the right we have laplace inverse of 1 upon p minus 1 now uh, there is no uh, formula as such for one uh, calculating the laplace inverse of 1 upon p minus 1 but we know what is laplace inverse of 1 upon p it is equal to 1 because laplace of 1 was 1 upon p but we have a result called first shifting property what is it it states that uh, if we, you have something like e, e to the power ax multiplied by something then uh, what what you do you first calculate the laplace of this f of x whatever is that you just replace p with p minus a where what is this a a is the coefficient of x in e to the power ax so that is it so here we have p minus 1 that means our a is equal to 1 so uh, that means uh, here it should be e to the power 1 x multiplied by the laplace of 1 upon p and what is it it is 1 so our answer finally is e to the power x so that is phi of x so now look at our question what they are asking they are asking what is the value of phi of log 2 we have phi of x is equal to e to the power x therefore phi of log 2 would simply be e to the power log 2 and that would be 2 so option a would be the correct option that is it for this video thank you for watching